You're watching Monty TV. I'm Jackie Karsh, joined now by Keith Ferrazzi, who's the founder and CEO of Ferrazzi Greenlight, a research-based consulting firm, and Yoy, a SaaS applying AI to HR. Keith, thank you so much for sitting down with us. Jackie, I love this conference, thank you. When you talk about human capital, what do you mean? You have your people, and right now, that is the next horizon of shareholder value. That is the next horizon of unleashing uh, the growth of organizations. You can change technology, you can change process, you can change you know, your systems, but at the end of the day, if you don't change people, advancements don't occur. Now, cracking the code of human behavior is very difficult. Um, we're getting a lot more advanced in behavioral science these days. Human capital really needs technology to triangulate its effectiveness, its organization, and its ability to continue to develop in the workplace. And that's what, that's what Yoy is focused on. And Ferrazzi Greenlight focuses predominantly on the recognition that work is really these days a network of individuals working on projects. This old hierarchy of manager to employee is going by the wayside. We're shifting to a network of relationships. When does a company know they need to bring someone like you in? Traditionally, coaches were things where there's a problem. But I think we're going to be finding more and more is the use of coaching, particularly because it's drying up in organizations. Managers don't have the sophistication or the time to coach like they used to. And as a result, we're going to have to start thinking about how to augment the coaching that most of us don't get in the workplace anymore. We can buy it from outside services like Ferrazzi Greenlight, or you can use technologies like Yoy to help triangulate when managers can be better coaches for their employees. You don't necessarily see your boss or even the people you're working with face to face. There's right. a lot of this virtual interaction, which sets us back almost like decades in terms of human interaction. What we've got to realize is there's going to be technologies developed that help recognize how to make virtual interactions more effective and efficient. Cisco does a great job, Siemens Communication does a great job by turning on technologies with video conferencing, etc. right? Now, the question is, when you don't see somebody, you're not doing a video conference, good managers would bump into their employees in the hallways, they'd ask them questions, how you doing, what's going on exactly. with that project, et cetera. We don't have that. That's why communications technologies like Slack are now prevalent. But there are technologies like Yoy that are going to be doing diagnostics of employees, helping employees trigger when conversations need to happen, even if they don't know it and the managers don't know it, the conversation still has to occur, technology is going to play a role. Does that affect human capital? Does that affect how people really collaborate? People really are the core of your business. AI is not going to take over the corporation. We still need people. And we need to make a commitment to elevate people in organizations, to develop people in organizations, make them more effective and productive. High growth, super high growth organizations like Uber are, are redefining what does it mean to grow a company and, and its people. So we're right on the cusp. It's an exciting time to be in this space. So all hope is not lost. Thank nope. you so much, Keith. Thanks a lot.